Hello, my name is Andy Tattersall. I'm an information specialist based at the School of Health and Related Research at the University of Sheffield. This is a short series of videos to help students uh, from the medical and health uh, research areas get more out of uh, their mobile devices. And this next app I'm going to show you, which is available on Android and I iOS, is the uh, NICE British National Formulary uh, Online Edition. To use this, you'll need an Athens Online account to, to access it, but I'll show you more uh, how to use this now. So this is what the British National Formulary looks like. In here, I can uh, search via particular chapters. So in this case, I've typed in already the word acne, and I can decide whether I want to filter that to chapters, to monographs, um, and from there I can look at those. If I take the monographs off, it will give me back more. So if I just select, say, the uh, acne side, click that, it will bring up details regarding this. If I click on any of these aspects, uh, it will drill down so I can look at skin. If I go back to 13.6, uh, uh, um, acne and rosacea, if I click that, that will give me information again and it is all hypertext it's like a website so I can literally go into different sections like so I can go back um, and forth as I wish and so I can access things by searching I can also go in to the formulary uh, via this big orange button on the left hand side click on that and in here I can particularly go in and start to search various things so in the chapters I can say open up I and in eye, I can start to look at uh, administration of drugs to the eye. Click on that. This will bring me more information. So this is what you would get in the British National Formulary. So I can go in here like so. If I go back, I can go and choose different uh, things. I can go and have a look in the um, immunity treatment of poisoning like so. And again, this brings me more information. This is from the BNF from May 2016. So. I can go in here and I can start to save things to favourite. So I go into I again, click administration to the I, click bookmarks, and it gives me an option to add the bookmark, go to my bookmark. So we'll click add, uh, add bookmark. If I go home on the bottom toolbar, I've now got my bookmarks in the top left hand corner. If I click those, we'll notice that I've now got, along with the drug below, I've now got administration of drugs to the eye and I click on that it will take me back to that so there's a, it's very very good compared to actually having say the actual manual the, the physical book where you may put post-it notes in and things like that you can actually save electronic bookmarks on things that you're particularly interested in things you want to re refer to we can also go in and click and find out what's new so if I click what's new it will bring up any uh, changes it will bring me significant changes dose changes classification changes any new names, any deleted preparations and new preparations. So if I go in and click those changes, that will bring up for those five drugs there from March um, to September 2016. Uh, we have changes um, since the previous print edition on those particular drugs. So if I click on flamidide, uh, um, I can go in there and again look at what um, the changes are to that, that drug. So I can go back like so, and within here I've got settings, and I can choose whether I want the text size regular, large, I can change the colors from white, sepia to black. So, um, so a few options there. So it's fairly straightforward. It is just quite, it's a very clever electronic version of the, the famous uh, and, and much used British National Formulary. So hopefully you'll find that useful, and uh, for those who've got Athens accounts and access to this, uh, one that you get onto your mobile device.